During Netflix's recent Totem event there are many titles ranging from different genres, which were greenlight by the creators and fans, are enjoying and already creating theories about their favorite shows and movies. Among many, Hellbound is also coming back with Season 2, on September 23rd. In the end of Tutum Korea segment the hosts announced the return of this exciting mysterious show with unique way, and lastly showed the season's finale clip and bits to refresh the memory of fans and promised that more dark mysterious are yet to be revealed. So when fans can expect the new season? Well, although Netflix did not reveal the release date yet, but fans can likely to get it by the end of this year. But hey, in the meantime let's refresh our memories of Hellbound to get excited. Because for me there are so many questions which Season 2 of Hellbound needs to answer. So for the quick story recap, the story introduces us to a bizarre occurrence which is happening to the fate of humanity. Episode 1st introduces us to a hell-like monsters who rise from the earth and brutally kills the people. They are basically can be described as emissaries from hell. In this series we come to know that they are somehow tasked to murder people whose deaths been prophesied and it seems like the monsters are giving the punishment to the people who are evil and then the big question lurking in every scene is what is considered a sin. So it's basically comes to the difference between the good and evil and this is also further emphasized by this cult leader who created a new true society and this society is scary to say the least. But the show later revealed that emissaries do not act based on sins, which we're believing so far. So are these hell monsters just picking whoever they like, but they are you know polite enough to let the next victim know about their death? By prophesying their death dates, anyways we will find out this in season 2. Also, in the season 1 end, the condemned child was saved and the first victim Zhang Jia revived back to life mysteriously. Which was honestly so creepy. Now my questions are, how the hell monsters work? Are hell monsters as all victims will came back to life in the new season? Or are they going to reborn as series teased throughout the running with its easter eggs? What is actual good and evil in the show? And what is the meaning of the child whose prophecy did not come true? What will happen next? To get the answers, we have to wait unfortunately. Well that's it for this video, I'm very excited for the season 2. What about you? Do let me know your thoughts and subscribe to more videos like this. Thanks for watching the video. Bye!